Welcome back to the Guild Hall Podcast, an actual player RPG podcast. This is Interpol, the Sixth Division, Firestarter, Episode Four. Right, Paul. The Firestarter. Please check us out at the-guildhall.net, and uh, you know, watch us post in the forums. And Just Google the us. The has first appeared. Just Google it. Just Google it. Yeah, I think that's my oh, favorite yeah. saying at this point. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's great. Is it not? And that was a game we totally played. Uh, what? That no, we, that was pretty good a couple of times. All right, fair enough. Right. Okay. All right. What are we doing? All right. Initiative. Yeah. Oh, dear. all right. Did I ever so, get my? Uh, to did, recap, because I... everybody's been a, it's been an entire week for you guys, <laughs> but uh, for for us, what just happened? Is that the Efreet walked into the club? Uh, I've got my Halon in my hand, and uh, what's his name? Robert, also known as Jonathan, uh, snuck up behind him and went to blast him, right? Move up by extinguisher, yes. Because he started igniting, he, he lit up, he flamed on. Yes. Go ahead, Jonathan, what did you draw? Go for it. Uh, good question, one moment, please. Meanwhile, Yorkie was trying to get the absence. Not very good. You're trying to get what? Absinthe? Absinthe. Okay, they'll yeah. serve you absinthe. I, right. I don't know about Germany if absinthe is banned in Germany. Yeah, they allow it. No, it's not. No, they allow it now. Uh, I don't know why it was banned in the United States ever. So. I've, I've had yeah. absinthe. It, it, it burns. It yeah. burns. It tastes like licorice. Oh, uh, well. well. It looks like he's been burning some people before I get to do something. Okay. Okay, so, um, Robert, go ahead, make a... What's that skill? Sneak stuff. No, um, to know things. Knowledge occult. No, can't do it. Okay. Alright, so, there's a tall, lanky can I make, a, can, I make an, can I make an untrained? I have seen the Ifrit before. Go ahead and make an untrained, sir. Uh, this would be for minus two, then... No, that's no nothing. Okay. Okay, tall, lanky finger. It has a tail, and it's now filled with fire. It's and probably not the Ifrit, I gotcha. It's throwing, it's throwing fire at the people inside. Um, they seem to be shooting at it with, with guns, and it doesn't seem to be affecting it at all. Nope. Okay, so it's not aware of you, so go ahead, you're up. And let I, I make a shooting check at it, because that's pretty much the oh. skill which I will use <laughs> to shoot a fire extinguisher at it, because, yeah, that's not a stupid thing to do. That's a good hit. Mm. Okay. So you start, to get... you, you start to cover it with foam. Uh, mm -hmm. It sort of hisses and screams as you hit it with foam. Hold on. <laughs> I, I gotta look at a Halon fire extinguisher right now. This is funny. If it's a foam fire extinguisher, it should be very cold. No, no, no. I know what a foam fire extinguisher looks like. I don't know what a Halon fire extinguisher looks like. I'm looking at Halon, a Halon fire extinguisher just shoots out... Um, what should I call it? Gas? Yes. Yeah, it's a gas. It's just yeah, a heavy, thought. heavy. <coughs> it's a heavy gas that um All right. So, so um as as you hit it, the fire on its back appears to go out. It drops down to all fours and charges into the club. I'm just going to continue foaming the shit out of it on okay. the way I, I, as much as I can. I'm I'm I'm, I'm giving chase basically. Okay. Why don't you tell everyone get out? But aren't I doing that already? Okay, I scream get out uh, on the way, but yeah. everyone get out. You can go ahead and yell fire in a clouded theater. Mm -hmm. No. Oh wait, then we have a stampede going the other way. The stampede is going to stampede into him, and I'm already in the club, so I got yeah, this. And after him, there will be me, and that will be a bad idea. So anyway, yeah, no, I'm, <laughs> right, I'm gonna, gonna I'm gonna scream. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. It's going to be awesome, dude. Don't worry. All right, it's going to be so fucked. Let's go deal cards to everyone now, as yeah. everyone can now get in, into the action. 
<clears throat> Let's get down to business. Well, you look at that, they draw crap cards. Well, now you have to check out which one of those goes first. And, Jorky, you, you can, can make a knowledge occult check as you see this figure. Oh, nice. I know stuff. You see a salamander. Nailed oh my it. god, can we keep it? Yeah, yeah. No. Wait, not the right kind of sal salamander. No, not the right I'm disappointed salamander. now. Why can't I, uh, why can't we get a, f a fire lizard pet? Uh... Is it clubs before hearts or hearts before club? Oh, it's hearts before clubs. Uh, reverse alphabetical clubs. I got gotcha. you. Deacon, there is a salamander running through the club, and it doesn't appear to be on fire right now. <laughs> well, you're welcome. Okay, I put my uh, hail on to the side, and I take out the gun and blast. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> That is oh, a I hit. Mm -hmm. I hate to say it, but isn't on a one in a crowded area you always hit someone? Oh, who that's, didn't that's hit true. That's a one in the wild card dice. Yes, you can hit a bystander. <sighs> Please don't make it me. No, right. make it Robert. <laughs> he keeps bringing up rules. Make one. him pay. <laughs> Okay, one is the crowd, two is Jorky, three is Robert. <laughs> Why is thousands of people in the crowd <laughs> as much a chance as one of us because we are heroes, right? Jorky, you are shot in the back by Jonathan, uh, by uh, Deacon. Oh, go ahead, one damage. I'm in pain and I spill my absinthe. <laughs> That's what you get for not doing nothing. Ow. Okay, what is your toughness? Well, well, here's the thing. He still hits the salamander. Four. Oh, something also happens to the crowd. Okay. I have four toughness, so that's. All right. So that's... that that is a hit with a that's a hit with a raise. So that is one wound unless you soak it. Um, I will say that is the ricochet from the bullet. So go ahead, roll your damage against the salamander. That's a wound with a uh, with a. Yep, that's a wound already. Wound Deacon, uh, please roll uh, one more damage roll. Oh, another one? Yeah. Another two d eight. Yes. Another salamander, please. There okay. You go. So it sort of bounces off the salamander's tough hide. And, it's and then into. Hits, yes, and then hits Jorky. <laughs> My enchanted bullets don't do nothing. No. Hmm. Because the enchanted bullets work on Efreets. Damn. <laughs> yep. Soaks. You're at, you actually. I'll just flat out tell you. You actually already did what you had to do to even damage this thing. I gotcha. Putting you. You, yeah, you cannot even hurt this thing unless you turn off its flames. <laughs> I got your That's back. That's awesome. Yeah. Yep. I got your back. Okay. So, that would be Deacon, and then it's his turn. Yoki, Yoki, please soak that damage. We don't want you to die. Uh, okay, so... Spend a Benny, go. make a Vigor check. Okay. Spend a Benny, make a Vigor check. Okay. And let's see now. I, once again, I am playing a character with the uh, Vigor D, uh, D4. Oh my god, that should not have worked. <laughs> and the bullet bounces off him as well. Yeah. <laughs> it goes into the crowd. <laughs> it bounces back to the freaking salamander. Uh -huh. As it bounces back to the salamander, it hit him in the eye and kill him in some. No. Okay. Alright, so, um, the salamander is no longer quote unquote um, shaken. <laughs> And so his fire reignites, he sort of gets up, he turns towards Deacon, who just hit him, and he's going to throw fire at Deacon. <laughs> D 
again. <laughs> that hits. Shit. <laughs> mm, what do you roll? That's my bigger. That's my bigger roll. Oh, okay. Uh, sixteen damage. What is your toughness? My toughness is a nine. Uh, toughness is a nine plus four for the flame retardant suit brings you up to a thirteen. Oh, right. no, 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 that no, no, only no, no, shakes no. Wait, you. Your toughness cannot be nine. I'm sorry. Why can't it be nine? Because it's one half vigor plus. So it's one half vigor. Plus two. Plus two. Thank you. What's your vigor? Oh, I'm. You're right. My vigor is like a d6. Okay, so, so that would make your toughness a seven. So that's no, it's a five. Oh, I'm sorry. That would make your toughness a five. I added four. You're right. That'd make your toughness a five. So that's plus four. Would be a nine, so nine thirteen. So it's shaken with one wound. Mm, uh-huh. Shaken with two wounds. Nine is shaken. Thirteen is nope. one wound. Five is shaken. Five is shaken oh, plus four the, for the. I'm sorry, the. For the suit. Right. Yes. And he soaks both of those. And he soaks both of those. Correct. Okay, Deacon. Yeah, I take a look at the at at the uh, free. Is that all you got, you piece of shit? Okay, the Efreet's not there, but okay, Jonathan. <laughs> Whatever the fucking flame thing, the salamander. That's what I meant. I have Jonathan. You should have gone that. first. I heard <clears throat> Th- those are spades. Those aren't clubs. Yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> all right, whatever. <laughs> Well, the only thing which would have happened is that I would be hitting him with more foam now, which I'm doing now. So nice. I'm going to hit him with more foam. Alright, okay. go ahead. Foam it up! You're going to slip bowling. Try and get it in his eyes. Because it's kind of what blind. it's done for. I'm not trying to blind its eyes. I'm trying to cover it in order yeah, to... Yeah, I know, whatever. Blind it still, at the same time. It's a good thing. Do I get a bonus for foaming it, or...? You get a boner. <laughs> Why do you want a know. bonus? I don't know. Okay. Well, I you, you it, I phone also someone from the crowd, which honestly I don't care much about. Okay. All right. So more foam goes onto the onto the thing. Once again, puts out its flames. The the yeah. salamander unleashes a shriek. And Jorky, you're up. Is it is it falling to the ground again? Is it, is it like start standing over it, it and just it, it, foaming? It, as soon as you like put out its flames, it tries to like sort of scurry away. Yeah. No. 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 No, 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 I'm following off. Right. I know, so Jorky, you're up. What can I even do to this thing? Hit it. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. If it's I not on fire, you can hit it. Kill it with I... not fire, kill it with not fire. Yeah, kill it with ice. Some say the world will end in fire, this. but this guy's going to end in ice. From what I know of desire, this guy's going to end in fire. Right, I tried to stab it with a switchblade. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, that's is that your that fighting? That's not how it works. Yep, that oh. is a five, just a five. No, it's not a five. You're the most useless character in this game. <laughs> Look now, I didn't make He's him for fighting. Absinthe. Okay. He's drinking absinthe. What is he doing? All right, let's see what happens next round. <laughs> I have a feeling it's not going to go well for Yorkie. <laughs> In my defense, my character is just a fucking scientist. It's not even supposed to be able to fight. I'm not even supposed to be here today. We didn't get killer scientists because our killer scientist didn't show up today, so we got you. Yeah, I was about to say, I watched, I watched Stargate. The scientists seemed to kick ass on that show. Yeah, Stargate, the scientists were awesome. I'm why can't so you be like, why can't not you be more like Stargate? I got I'm look more Daniel, not Carter, okay? Look, come on, man. You're a bad scientist. You don't know how to pick up a gun and wreck shit. Deacon, <laughs> what did you draw? Yeah. What did, oh, right, I'm sorry, I'm too busy Jonathan, talking Jonathan, what did you Jonathan. draw? Jonathan. <laughs> oh, I'm not going first. <laughs> uh, jo- you have quick, don't you? Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. Because your character's overpowered, because you screwed up. But go on. Yeah, probably. Whatever. I'm still not going first, so Jonathan. <coughs> Who's on first? Uh, Robert. Robert. Hey, Robert. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Put Sorry. your card out, bro. Oh, oh fuck. So it's okay. It's all right. That's why. Uh, well, I'm going first. Yeah, you are. Go for it. Have fun, motherfucker. Uh, wait, 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 Paul. What, 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 
what's the what's the edge you have? Five. No. Quick. The edge is quick. quick. Oh yeah, quick. yeah, quick. Thank you. It only goes onto things five or below. Okay. Robert, you can go. Um, yes, um, I, 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 I'm still going. I, I'm, I'm just trying to put more foam onto him in order to make him not completely unable to okay, do so anything. Okay, so do you want to delay your action until after he goes, just in case he turns himself back on flames? It's like the, the, the moment he puts himself on fire, it's like I'm putting a giant nope sign on his face with okay. foam, basically. All right, so he's going to go. But, but it's a continuous thing. So. No, I know, but you still have to roll. Right. Uh, oh, shit. I was using the wrong character. Hang on. <laughs> were, no, I mean, like, it was the right character. I have two deacons. There's a deacon unfixed and deacon fixed. Oh. oh. Jonathan. There it is. Yeah, because there we go. Okay, I thought there was something missing last time. I yeah, this expertly is the right shoot out all the flames. Yes, you do. Deacon. <clears throat> um, I uh, shoot him again. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Please, please don't hit me. Okay. I mean, uh, apparently I can so... That's like, a hit with a raise, so go ahead and roll damage. This is a legit character now. Now we're doing it for real. Fuck. See what happens, you shitheads? You shoot him expect the uh, expertly. Yes, not uh, very well. You get an additional d6 for the raise. Yeah. Oh yeah. You can well, fix sure. that. That, that, on, that can explode. Three explodes. Oh. Boom! Nope. But all right, seven. Nope. Uh, jerky. I'm just uh, pissing them off. Great. Yeah. What did you just That's... do? He tried to stab it. Um, That will hit its parry. That's... That's... uh, Okay. (laughs) Damage roll. What are you stabbing it with? Switch blade. He has a switch blade. (laughs) (laughs) In my defense, I could actually bring it in here. Let's bring a katana next time. <clears throat> Alright, let's see now. That's my strength plus that. No wild dice, as far as I know. No. And no races. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. I gotcha. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I go I'm, trying, I'm trying not to laugh, but I'm kind of laughing. <laughs> Look now, <laughs> I'm not supposed to be here. <laughs> now we know why you're the intern. My power is heal. And we are very happy that you have that power. <laughs> oh, snap. I like, I, I like literally got heal because I was like, oh well, Colin is like the uh, the the guy that do, does powers. I I should I should try playing a support character Deacon. once. No, oh, what up, bro? You have a card. Oh, I got a card. card. My bad, my bad. Guess what? Reshuffle. No, no, no. Twice. We both go whenever we want. That is fucking. When do you want to go? No, no. I'll let why you don't you? First. No, no. Why don't you hit him first? Okay. While he's not on fire, and then the moment he becomes fire, I hit him. All right, that sounds good. All right, so now what happens when I get a Joker? I get, you get something plus two to all rolls. You get a plus two to all plus rolls. Two. Oh, by the way, Game Master, I think yeah. Deacon would like to take his turn. Now. I think yeah. Oh win. yeah, I'm gonna take my turn now. Yes. All right. Ba ba boom. You have a plus two, so you hit him. That's a seven. All so right. that hit, that's a hit. Doing the wrong thing here. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. You totally have that uh, edge that makes you do more, uh, double damage. <laughs> Probably That's, not, right? No, no. Like at this point, we're just torturing it. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Okay. Okay. It's eleven. He is he is shaken. Fuck yeah! Okay. All right, Jonathan. 
Oh, sorry. Uh, I go. No. Shit. I go. He does Joke not act. Jonathan. I hit him over the head with Fuck the it, take him out. fire extinguisher. Go ahead. Make a melee attack. Plus two. That that's a hit. Uh, what does a fire extinguisher do for damage? I'm sorry, I'm I'm normally not hitting people with fire extinguishers. So <laughs> Let's say two d six plus strength. Holy shit! Those picks are freaking awful. heavy, made of Those solid steel. Heavy. So yeah. Uh, twelve. <laughs> Holy crap! All right, one second. Stunk. Donk. And he was already shaken, so this goes straight to wounds. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, is this buff a plus two as well? Yes it is, I believe. That means yeah, it's fourteen. Oh, yeah, no. Okay, so that's shaken. Sh shaken no longer counts. No, I know. I'm um, okay. So. Wound, wound. Alright, so that would be two wounds. So I'm not gonna spend bennies on this combat, just so you're aware. Okay. All right. There's something bigger happening. No, I just don't think we need to spend that much time on this one comment. All right. Good. <laughs> All I right. think we got this one. <laughs> Dorky. Right. Um. Okay. So how uh, bad off is he actually? Uh, he's shaking with two wounds. <gasps> right. There's a dent bad. the size of a fire extinguisher in its head. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm gonna uh, try to bring out a uh, a syringe with the uh, knockout drugs and stab him. What? He's gonna try to get a syringe with something knock knock out something on it. Knockout oh, yeah. knock oh. drugs. Mm -hmm. okay. Try to take him out, out uh, in alive. You know. Yeah. Okay, uh, that does not beat its stuff. Uh, that does not beat its parry. Damn it! Uh, hit it for me. Huh? I hit him with a five. <laughs> yeah, but you have plus two, I thought. No, it's about a five fifty plus two. Oh. All right. Well, you, well I was supposed I to make that a miss, but. Hmm. All right. All right. Hmm. Sorry. You know what? I spend a penny. Oh shit! There, he was hit. No, you. His parry is a six. Good. All right, so I hit. So no, 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 you don't. You you miss. You no, technically miss. Robert missed, but yeah. I missed and that. I, no, I I I wasn't aware that I had missed, so I spend a penny so that right. we can so. continue on. Well. Well, that's not bad. I'm Chicken. drawing well today. Uh. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that's gay. Did you get one more? Okay, get a new one. I, is it when I hit a five or five? It's five, five or below. Is it? Yeah. Quick, re-roll on a five or below. Yeah. yeah, see, this one I actually wrote down when I get. Alright, it's still not going first, but whatever. Okay, Jonathan, <coughs> you're about to be the badass of this episode. I solidly clunk him over the head again. I'm sorry, what? I did a car chase and I wrecked the shit out of a bunch of dudes. Nope. Actually, outnumbering, we are three against one. That is true, you have two people in base-to-base -base combat, go ahead, that's a hit. Okay, there's a smear of salamander blood on the floor as you crush its head with the... Can I, can I, can I, can I take him out without too much bloodshed with that master stroke which I just did? Uh, sure, there's less blood, but you still take him out. Good. <laughs> oh, by the way, way since we did have one person more, I give myself back the uh, Benny, because yes, I would have hit true. him. Jonas! 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 He's still my favorite character. <laughs> five seconds, five seconds, and then he's dead, yeah? 
<laughs> His story arc ended with a bang. Yeah. Very much so. Yeah. Alright. Too soon, um, guys. Too soon. So, panting and heaving, we stand over this thing. You're standing over the I salamander. The salamander is dead. I look uh. around. Are there lots of people who have they all evicted? No, no, no. The, most of the people didn't, like, stay to watch the fight. Most of the people have left. There seems to be a few, like, security personnel sort of just looking over. Uh-huh. Fuck, I, I guess I could have used the power I don't have, so I could try to entangle him or some I shit. I take out a body bag, I open I it up. I pull up my and badge and tell them to back the fuck off. <laughs> they don't approach. Good. Okay, I put down a body bag, I open it up, I throw the thing in there, and say, come on, let's get this thing out of here now. Yep, 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 we should leave. <laughs> Definitely leaving. As we leave, I throw down a grenade and make sure there's no tracks. No! No, no, I'm joking, I don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> I... We're not... We're not as high tech oh, as men. Oh, oh, wait, black. wait, wait. As best, that means I was wearing gloves all that. I toss one of the guys as I walk by one of the heavy security guys. I toss the fire extinguisher to to catch and, and as I walk out. Okay. Nice. Hey. Not uh, to uh, kill him or anything, but I basically go catch and then I for, to, toss it to him. Yeah, I take the part fire extinguisher with me because fuck that shit. Okay, you take the other fire extinguisher with you. Yeah, because if this thing flames on for some reason, you know, who knows what kind of regenerative powers you. Mine is probably pretty empty at this point. <laughs> you, Mine you, I didn't you, use. You were going to run out, basically, in the next round. Yep. No, no, I, I was completely aware that this is not going for, <clears throat> on for a long time. Alright, so let's get back to HQ. Yep. Okay. Let's uh, get this over to Butcher. Okay, so um, Butcher takes actually, it Actually... One more thing, I would like. What? Not, not even, not even anyone special from Division Six or something. But I want like two beat cops in a squad car standing outside this club. Well, there's gonna so be a lot of. In, there's gonna be a lot of cops. You there's gonna be a lot of cops and fire department there tonight. Right. Good. Because kind of wondering if. Since the fire, uh, since the um, sprinkler system still doesn't work, if the Freed himself may may approach or something, or send more, kind of wanting to avoid that. Okay. <clears throat> I so want the zombie power. Well, you can get that eventually. Well, when I'm a veteran, so. <laughs> and so we get back to. All right, so if you guys get, to, get back to HQ, you drop off, you drop off the body. Um, that's pretty much it for this time. You guys finished in record time. <laughs> Jesus Christ, really? Really? Holy shit, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Cyphers made sure that you got through a fucking adventure in record time. <laughs> so I would like to use my card, I wanna, get a clue, I wanna in order in to find out face. what we can do now. <laughs> yeah. I think Paul needs to write it. So. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's okay. I'm I'm cool with that. So we we'll go in and give it to him, and that's where we'll leave off, uh -huh. ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for joining us on the Guildhall podcast. Please check us out at the-guildhall.net. Uh, go on there, and uh, if you really like my announcements, please say so because I'll continue doing them because I really know that it pisses Robert off, and I love driving him nuts. Um, and that's about it. So good. That's like basically you could have you could have honestly uh, uh, shortened that sentence to I love nuts. <laughs> Alright, if you'd like Rickard to never play with us again, just make sure you post on the forums and we'll make sure it happens. I have like no, nuts. no, they won't. They can't Rickard stop me. Has, Rickard has inserted so many positive additions to this podcast. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did I hear you guys got a Code 98 going on? Yep, put no. that in the book. Put that in the book. <laughs> okay, so hold on. Let me, let me write it down. Wait, wait. Code, Sam, what is a Code 98? Code 98 sounds like a salamander. I heard that you dealt with it with standard protocol 462 fire extinguisher. <laughs> Beating it with a fire extinguisher. Put, put this in the... Write it down. Done. <laughs> and then, Sam, you're muted. <laughs> Forever. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah. No, that's good. No, no, no. no, no I'm joking. I'm joking. We're, we're, we're done. We're done. <clears throat>
I've decided, I've decided it'll be easier if I make this into an Excel spreadsheet, because then I can actually yeah. organize them by number. Right, exactly. Well, I, like, I like how Salamander's right next to Ifrit. Oh, of course, fire. <laughs> oh, wow. So the 90s are all fire, I guess. He's starting to think about it. It's shit. Okay, uh, Sam, I, I have to ask. Yeah. Why is a code 71 or 77 a kaiju? No, 71 was uh, the Polk bunnies. That was a 71. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, I'm going to believe him. He has it written down. I just know. All right, so I, code I had it written down as P O L K, but I fixed it. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Also, uh, the immovable, immovable wall wants uh, to bring, bring me back. Just so you know. He wants to what? No, to you can't go oh, back. Oh, bring record back. Okay. What yeah. do you mean, bring record back? Because cause you said you wanted to demote the podcast. Oh, no, I didn't mean that. I love Record. He's just a pain in the ass, but I love him. <laughs> to be fair, I can say that about every one of you, but still. <sighs> There's the spelling of Polk. P-O-L-Q-U-E. Yep. Oh, yeah, I, I still wonder uh, uh, how much uh, Polk should uh, Peter still have. <laughs> Uh, we'll have to get back to that. <laughs> Not enough, but always too much. <laughs> well, ever since he got this new roommate, it's not enough. It's well, never enough. new roommate, though. Sam. Ah. <laughs> no, it's, it's Todd, but I was forced into being it, and I couldn't throw out enough for him. No, no, no. P uh, Peter Bolton is the uh, roommate, Pablo. Hmm? Oh, oh, okay, yeah, you're the character. Okay. I thought you were talking about Paul's character. Mm -hmm. No, no, it's, it's, it's easy to confuse him. Pavlov oh. is... Yeah. Sam. Well, you haven't figured out what Pavlov's doing in the city, so... Who, oh, me? Pavlov's dead. Uh, the, was Papa here? Was Papa, Papa? Yes. Papa was here. Papa flew off to Interpol. Ah. He wasn't in this oh, episode, yeah. though. Okay. This episode was... This episode was dealing with a the salamander so, was dealing with a serial arsonist who is attacking Volansky Holdings, which was Robert not continued. The salamander. I was gonna say Robert thought was the Efri all night. But honestly, I assume that it has something to do with the Efri. I don't know. It probably. I does. didn't say that it probably does. I didn't say it was the Efri, which is, if you recall, I actually wanted to check, are they actually the same things which did that? Yeah, I know. Um, I knew it had, or I assumed it had something to do with the E3 or one of its minions, but... There we go. That shit off. Okay. Well, that one actually without any losses, which is that was surprisingly a well, yeah. because I thought of a fucking fire extinguisher. Yeah, that was there, there, honestly, there were two sections where this game could have went a lot longer. One of them <coughs> all ran off the road. Which one? Who did you run off the road? Oh, literally, <laughs> I ran the guy off the road, yes. Were they going to talk to us? Because they didn't really have... You could run off the road, but no, yeah. I think they were just going to talk to us. They were going to talk to you. Yeah, I was going to. Wait, seriously? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> if you haven't <laughs> noticed it yet, they were not going to attack us or anything. They were trying to signal us, like, we are here, we want to talk to you. That was... Look, let me tell you, Red Lady, if that's your intent to create a uh, story arc... Don't ever have them pull up like that. <laughs> Cause because immediately what happens in my head is, oh, this is an action scene, and I just <laughs> murdered. Which is why I was so surprised <clears throat> that you suddenly pulled out your gun and started ramming them and everything. <laughs> well, they're not necessarily dead. Well, the driver is. <laughs> oh, the driver pretty much is. Well, he's not necessarily... <laughs> Going to Deacon where telling himself that. Yeah. yeah. Also, so, literally, the guy has a serial killing flame thing after it him him and wants us to fix his problem. The problem is every time he sends someone to talk to us, you murder them. Well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty much getting the feeling that he's not very happy with you at this point. Well, 
<laughs> Maybe he better come up with different ones. Did he ever try a phone call? I was kind of going to tell him that myself after we would have intimidated the shit out of those goons, but you shot immediately, which I kind of found a little well, bit preemptive. I mean, if he stops like trying to be preemptive, bad. yes, out of character, no, 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 no I have done a hundred percent. Well, exactly why when you're like, oh, we should talk it. I'm sitting the there only... getting my gun ready and go, yeah, that's my style. Also, pointing <laughs> out the only reason why I didn't run you in or do something is because fucking loyal hindrance again. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Like the only uh, the only time that hasn't uh, stopped you was with Joshua, and I'm going to say that was totally fair. <laughs> <laughs> Yosha just kind of turned evil in the middle of the game. Yes. Yeah, I don't understand that one. Uh, it's, it was just essentially like, you know what, why not? Uh, like, he's greedy, he's... You know what, like... It, it, I kind of never wanted that to like be kind of a big thing. Like, it was just, he knew people, you know. Yeah. That was just kind of it, but it kind of somehow just spiraled out of control. Yeah, crime I've come to playing sleep deprivation. Hey, Paul. Welcome, so, welcome to what? playing with the guild, Papa. Our yeah. rank. Is our rank still novice? or? Yes. You're still novice, but you're going to get one more advance after today. So now you guys are Ooh, novice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So far, I've had, because I think I have not put in my raise yet. Okay. Huh. So if I. So how many points should I have in attributes? We have, uh, five. Uh, okay. That doesn't change unless you spend an advance to raise it. Right. Well, you said we had one advance, right? Yes. Yes. So either okay. you took an extra edge, or you took skill points, or how many edges? Or one attribute point. How, how many edges should we have? You should have one edge from being human, and then you gain an additional edge for if you have a. No, he can he can choose what he does he with those gain, points. He, he took an hindrances. additional edge for a hindrance, or an additional edge for two minor hindrances, or you can use that instead of getting an edge. That's basically like another advance. So instead of an edge, you can use you can get skill points, or you can get attribute points. Okay, so all right, so that makes sense. So then that's one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. Okay, cool. So yeah, I'm 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 right. Okay. And then I have next. I have a point in vigor. Uh, no, you're not right because does your skill points cost double if they go over your attribute? Yeah, right. but he, they, he, he, uh, this is I, the fixed character sheet. I saw oh, one defense. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. Right. So I was rolling a d10. It's not that far off. I was rolling a d10, but I uh, I was rolling a d12, but I have a d10 in it. So he should have been rolling a d10 before. That's all. I should have rolled a d10. Uh, but that's still uh, right. a lot higher than any. I literally have nothing over D6. Really? Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't have. I, I, I realized. I said, wait a minute. Do I have investigation? I don't have any investigation. This character is all about murder, fighting, and sneaking. He's a, he's an ex Navy SEAL, as best I can see. The, the funny part is, if you need a secondary something, I'm probably your guy because I can right. a lot of things. Right. Well, when we originally made this party, we had a really good original party. Right. Yeah, and, and, and then, then, and then Jonas, Jonas had to die. <laughs> Jonas had to die. Fucking Jonas. The story would be completely different if Jonas survived. Yes. <laughs> well, who's to say that Jonas doesn't come back? Speaking of... I was um, fucking your wife. Yeah. Rickard, where is um, Jorgen? Um, Jorgen. He's yeah, probably asleep. I, I know. Well, thank you. But where is he in terms of gaming? Though? Like I haven't seen him for it feels like forever. Um, uh, Does he hate me too? Because I have a, I've noticed okay. this week a lot of people fucking hate me. Okay. Uh, the thing is that uh, he, you know, the thing is today he, he probably will just just way too asleep. Otherwise, he generally doesn't like joining in uh, in when there's more than uh, uh, more than five people. It kind of it really does, it just finds the, it, it turns into way too much bullshit when uh, there's too yeah. many players. We had three people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but like he, he, uh, we uh, have sort of like been uh, uh, was out since like eleven or so in in on, in the day. Oh, okay. So he probably just went to bed when he when we yeah, arrived, mm -hmm. and we arrived like right before you call. Uh, call. Uh, well, I did. 
So, okay. and he still had the, like more than half an hour of dr uh, driving left to do to get back to his home. So right, he probably just he probably just essentially just went to bed. Okay, cool. Because I miss you, Jorgen. Mm -hmm. Unless no. I miss you, Jorgen. Fuck him. Since, since I haven't stopped the recording yet, so if any listeners would like to join games. There's a, there's a lot of ideas for games floating around with not a lot of people who sort of sign up for them. So Literally. I would like to run a game, but most of the guild hall refuses to uh, play on them. Paul, what are the, what are the three games that uh, you want to run that we haven't run yet? Um, I, I flat out invited, invite your game, where I'm completely willing to run the Legion game, so long as we have enough people sign up for it. And Rickard apparently, Rickard apparently wants to join. Rickard, Immovable Wall, and Dan, right there. If, if those That's three people <coughs> want to be in on the Legion game, where Legion attempts to reclaim his position in hell. Yeah. Oh, dude. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. What level characters in that case? Um, I'll have to check out the, whatchamacallit. I'll, I'll have to check out 5th edition, see where I want to fit it. Okay. Maybe like 8. Uh... Play as a guest player as the level 20 black god. Um, You're gonna play Caleb? <laughs> his much cooler brother. I whatever. shotgun Caleb! I shotgun Caleb! <laughs> <laughs> we are all playing Caleb, in fact. No one Ex except playing. for. It is, it is whoever, whoever can show up that week outside of the regular game will be Caleb. <laughs> except for Cyphers, everyone will be playing Caleb. Okay. We are all nah. of Caleb since he has ascended so high. I Rick, will bring Rick really him. Wants me, really, Rick oh. really wants a World of Darkness game, which I guess I could run. There you uh, go. Okay. Not as much really wants to as just would, would like, like anything try. else. Okay. So we've got a Legion game, we've got a World of Darkness game. There's, okay. there's a lot more games than I thought. So the, the, uh, as I was saying, the, I'm I'm going Shadowrun to will be awesome. Oh, I, yeah. Call of Robert Destiny. wants to run the Gumshoe game. Drew has his game. I don't know if he's he. I don't know what he's doing. He don't worry about Drew. Just worry about not. you. You. What do you want to run? And then, post Fall the Gods, I have three different, um, D and D games I want to run. Depending yeah. on what ending we choose. No. 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 Um. Basically, the the post Fall the Gods storyline that you are not really going to have much interaction with past this point. It's right. going to involve three different armies basically going up against against each other. And so I want three PC or three different player groups r running each of those three groups. Oh god. One of them is oh, even. The yeah, immovable um, walls will actually love of. joining for uh, one of them is my group. Yeah. So yes. This is really a spoiler if you tell us because if we have really <clears> nothing <throat> to do with it. Um, one of uh, basically the 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 long and short of it, without going deep into what, what my plan is, um, one of the f there's basically a war between the Fey and one of the Fey nobles ends up making a deal with the devil. Mm. Hi. So. <laughs> The devil, not a devil. Well, no, I'm going to be the devil. <laughs> the person who's in charge of hell at the time. Okay. Hi. Which is probably Caleb, to be honest. Fuck him. He's not going to be there forever, motherfucker. I'm bringing him down low as I do the kingdom of heaven. So, so basically, it's the armies of the guy who sold his soul, basically. Basically, gave the... Inf gave the Nine Hells a position in the Feywilds, the mm. other side of that conflict, and then mm. the Infernal side. All three of those groups are going to go to head. Not sounding too happy about the whole Infernal. Those guys should be just fuck. I can play a guy from, heaven, uh, from Hell, but I cannot play a guy from Infernal shit, because they just wreck shit without... Well, it's no, like, it's okay. no, no, no. Infernal is, is the Nine Hells. It's the Devils. So those are the devils, not, not the, the demons. Not, no. the demons. The, not okay, the good. If it's the demons, okay. demons, you can play demons. Demons. Yeah. So, Shit. Devils uh, were lawful, right? Robert, you don't remember. Yes. You're the voice of the Fae, though. Remember that? Hey, don't worry, Robert. You're not going to be on my team. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm definitely not on my team. Wait, wait, wait a moment. I'm you were the only one voice. who ran... You were the only one who had a... Um, whatchamacallit? Um... <sighs> What's that race? The High Elves. 
Oh, the Eladrin. Eladrin? Yeah. You, you, you were the only Eladrin Pons. player I had, so I said, oh, I, guess, I guess all Eladrin have German accents. <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, uh, oh yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, guys, but uh, the movable wall actually has dibs on Caleb. Yes, I know. I saw that. Also, he'd like to join for Vault. He'd like to join what? For Wheel of uh, World of Darkness. Okay. Oh. Okay. Does he want to join the Legion game? Yeah. So that's that's my. Oh, post. you know what? Wait, wait. Ah, shit! It's at the same time. Or else I would be pulling out our high level, um, whatever the name of my spear wielding fighter was, and just wreck everything. Almond? Tauros. Tauros. Oh, Tauros. Yes. Yes. So, anyway, just... so. Those are. The, that's the post fall of the god plan I have. And then mm -hmm. everything else is sort of. When I have people enough people, and depending on the group of people who are who are around, I just want to run things, and I sort of want to splinter you guys more, because we've been having very weird availability between people. Yeah. So I, I would like to splinter up the group so that I can always keep running something, as right. long as I have a few players available every week. So. Yeah, because one of the big goals is that even if. Um, at least well, give you guys a little idea from from the podcast standpoint. We want to still be able to deliver entertainment um, on a regular schedule. Yes. Right. So if Saturday 8 p.m. I'm not available or Sam's not available, Paul can still run a game with two or three other people. Um, maybe on that Friday or that Sunday. Yeah. Or and I'm, I'm more than willing to run it on an alternate time. Right. But yeah. we got to get. Expe this is one especially if like Rob Robert and. Especially mm -hmm. if, like, we have a European contingent who just who ends up playing one of the Fey angles in like the in the D and D game. Probably be nice. <laughs> I, 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 could, I could actually say, all right, I'm going to do it 11 a.m. my time, which is mm -hmm. great time for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, we understand you guys have jobs and whatnot, but I mean, like, the, what, what I'm trying to get across is that Literally one of the most why I'm important doing this parts of this. The weekend. Yeah, I know. Yeah, the most important part of all this is that. Especially the, like Robert, this is totally aimed at you. Uh, mm -hmm. Be available to like discuss when you are available on like Google Chat or something. Um, if we, I'm I'm fine with pushing more on the forums. I'll just start using the forums again. Yeah, like that's something else too. Um, because we do have the forums, so if we're going to use them and make more use of them, check them on a at, like once a day or once every two days or something. <laughs> I, sh I try I mean, to check it once per week. Okay, that's fine. Because, the, the, like, it, it tends to happen so, uh, so rare, uh, something there so rarely, so... Yeah, I know. But I try to... Now and then I will check it out a few times more, but, you know... Yeah. And Berlini, I think that from your standpoint, what you ought to do is try and have an idea in a game that you want to run or uh, find out availability by Tuesday, okay. latest Wednesday, and then we well, can the, kind of roll I, I that. never get people's availability until, like, Thursday. I know, <laughs> but like, sorry about also, that. we don't really, we don't always ask until like Wednesday. So, <laughs> yeah, I can, uh, yeah. The, the we all, we all get a word. Fall the gods, work. fall the gods. I need a little more prep than other games, but of most, course. most other games I can run with very minimal prep. I usually know exactly what the next storyline is, and I can go with it depending on who's available. Like, like if, if today was game. ETU, I could have ran the ETU game. If today was. Uh, they was six fifth edition. I could, I could probably have run a fifth edition game also. So, mm -hmm. you were saying you have five. Like yeah, I'm, five I'm trying to three. I'm trying to get myself an outline five games in advance, so that okay. I know I, I I can just go into the next game pretty quickly. Right. So for ETU, for instance, Ooh. I know exactly what's going to happen in the next three sessions. Uh, Not exactly. The Legion game. Right. So, so and okay, then, so let's all try and make some strides to, you know, yeah. let's all be professional <laughs> about this damn thing. Yeah. This is me. One question, because uh, who is going to run the Legion game? If oh, such the original, on. what Paul originally was talking about was Paul was talking about him running a he game where it. he plays oh, okay. Legion and DMs a group of people. 
What right, I'm talking push. about now is if Paul wants to play as Legion, I am mm-hmm. willing to run a D&D 5th edition game with him and four, three other players, let's say. All right. I'm going to throw it on the ground set of a few guys there. Okay. I would love it if you came along. All right, Paul. No. You now if, have... No, no, no. What? If, I have you want Legion, more people. if you want Legion back, you first need to get rid of the far realm, so I can also offer to run Call of Cthulhu for you guys in order to get this oh, fucking love, soul back. I was just saying that the other night, too. I All right, to so, me. hold on. Let me, let, me, let me just follow this. Robert will run a game where Paul basically breaks himself away from the far realm in Call of Cthulhu. Mm-hmm. And that will lead. And no, it will the... not just be you. It would be. Uh, it will basically it be a group. It has to be a group. Yeah, yes. I know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So good, but it, the the overall goal will be basically to save him. Oh my god, I love it! Please, yes, right. let's do that. I love I, that. I will totally prepare that. Okay, cool. Okay. Put that on the forums. Let's get a date. I'll be there. <laughs> I will. I will. I will put away my Inquisitor stuff. If you let me get my legion back, please. <laughs> I, no, no here, 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 here's the thing. I'm. It, it's kind of Cthulhu, so it's gonna be deadly, and it's not gonna be easy. It's oh Jesus, gonna Robert's be, running. Everyone is gonna be fucked up. And yes, I'm gonna run this. So yeah. Okay. Paul, Paul, give him, give him a few guidelines. <laughs> I was kind of Cthulhu a little bit chance, more often than what him, I think. <laughs> Right. I gotta have a, I gotta have a background. So I'm gonna, that's, I, you don't understand. Uh, all right, cool. New topic. All right, so under Guildhall Live Play Games, new game, Call of Cthulhu. I'm not even sure if it should be Call of Cthulhu. Maybe it's Trail of Cthulhu, but I love it. Whatever. We'll call it Call so, of Cthulhu, and you make it whatever game you want. Yeah. I mean, Trail of Cthulhu is same. I was about to say, w- w- no, which game totally can people suspicious. actually potentially win? Hmm? Which game can people actually potentially win? Um, which one is more lethal? Uh, Call of Cthulhu is definitely more lethal. Uh, Trail of Cthulhu is just different because it's more of an investigation game. Which actually might be. I have to think um, about it. By bit. the way, Robert. I think yes. when you run this sort of game, you mm-hmm. basically should be... If Paul loses flat out... I can't make him not play his character, because then no. there would be a thing that he would... Uh, uh, then, then he can always say, I stack the deck against him, and he may be right. Okay. <laughs> because... Call of Cthulhu is a deadly game. Oh, please help me. <laughs> but okay. the thing is, like, I would give him a shot to make it with a clean conscience, but we could always say that this was now one of the many realities, and you can go ahead. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I, I don't care about that. Failure can be right. an option. That's fine. Mm-hmm. But what, what I'm getting at, the way that I would picture this going is that your Legion is basically fighting with the Far Realm to try to get himself back, get his memories back. Because he's not only contending with the Far Realm, he's also contending with the actual poison, basically, which is erasing his mind and the Far Realm's mind simultaneously. So huh. the the worse he does, the less he remembers when we when, I, when he picks up in actual. So mind. help me uh, God, a if, general if he can idea, fuck up but... to bring the Far Realm back, I'm gonna say we should have won that game. <laughs> now we're running that game. Really needs to have the far realm for his next actually, level. That's actually true. If he if he managed to go out and brings the far realm back left it, I wouldn't even want to that myself. But I was hoping no one would say anything about that. Shut up. Yeah. It doesn't I'm, matter. I, I'm fine. Whatever I'm running is not going to be the continuity of uh, Paul's game. I was about to say, it Robert, I'm fine with you running it. this in continuity. You I will, don't I will in continuity. Happening in continuity. I would do that since you actually have never had me as a game master before. So don't right. don't do that. Fine. Otherwise, I was actually gonna suggest essentially like even if he loses, he somehow comes back. Yeah, it's just that if he wins, he comes back with a uh, with the, a bonus of some sort. As I said, it's like, it's it's a different it's a different timeline and so on and so on. If <laughs> If you want to, I can give you some suggestions. Robert, we'll talk about game, it. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. We'll discuss. I will. I will it's give fair. you. 
I'll give you all the guidelines I need to on this game. Right. Paul, you're in yeah. charge of the scheduling on this one. Okay, motherfuckers. <laughs> We're going to be playing right now. <laughs> uh, no, I need a little bit of time to prepare that. All right, fine. <laughs> all right, so... <laughs> <laughs> Paul, you okay. get this game. You yeah. This is the thing. You get this game. Post this game. I'm perfectly fine running a Legion storyline. Yes. And I will be running a short game. It might not be one session. It might be two or three I'm sessions. Fine with but that it's too. Be like yeah. a relatively short storyline and relatively yeah. contained. Okay. How many players in it? Uh, unsure, but I would say four would be the number I would be. Four, four, four I feel like is good. Yeah, it's like it's like it shouldn't be more. And yeah, the, the only one which I need is you, <laughs> Paul. You're literally the only one who's the linchpin of this. Uh, I'd be, I will be interested in what? trying it. Oh yeah. All right, Paul, you got two. So mm -hmm. if I if I understood uh, Call of Cthulhu right, I can play as a Shoggoth, right? Uh, new, no. but uh, no. No, not under normal rules. But uh, okay, let's be honest. I'm gonna think about this how I want to run this. I have different ideas right now floating through my head. I will need to sit down and think a little bit about how I'm gonna do this. Well, okay. it's mean, not gonna be your basic. Oh, there's a mysterious murders going on at this place there. Let's grab our grimoires and let's go. No, that's oh. gonna be a little bit different. Yeah, I think it's going to... Oh. I sort of envision this as, like, there are several, all of these, like, lost minds that haven't been completely consumed by the Far Realm, but are just sort of continuing their existence in this eternal purgatory. And then the the water of... Lethe. Yeah, the water of Lethe hits it, and all of a sudden, this is now their one shot at breaking free from the far realm. That's good to do. <laughs> like, that's the way I would see the storyline going. That's good to do. Uh, let's see. <laughs> well, alright, so I think Dan, Dan said Lee's never got a chance, so I feel like Dan would totally come along. Uh, so, uh, if, uh, so if I got a yeah, drive, should we... Be... Ball, who also wants to do this. And did he say he wants to do it, too? I will try Robert's game once, literally what he just said. Yes! Uh, <laughs> am I off the... Am I off the hmm? chat? I'm not seeing any of the recent chats from him. Yeah, I'm off the chat. What the hell happened? Did this thing freeze? Oh, this thing froze. Oh. Yeah, that happens every now and then. Ah, well. I'll relaunch um, chatty. Oh, let's see now. Um, so, will the characters that in the uh, the uh, Call of Cthulhu game, if they survive, will they actually be in the, uh, the uh, fire game? Probably not. That? But okay. again, I uh, look. I have a general idea where I want to put this, but I haven't put out the details yet. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I I will be honest. I probably make pre-made characters. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Yep, so we have it a full adds. group for Cthulhu, I think. Yeah, yeah. sure. And, Paul, those are probably going to be the same players who play with you on... Legions. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of them is the GM in, uh, <laughs> yeah. in the Cthulhu game. But, yeah... yeah. Now I just need to figure out how do I make an, a character that's actually a warlord in a, a 5e. I'll have uh, to go through the rules. Didn't look the, enough on 5e. Okay. Uh, first of all, the, 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 uh, the, the thing is that I uh, I kept like looking at the warlord in 5, 4e and I was like, you know what? Wouldn't it kind of be funny if I created a warlord that was like by profession a warlord? <laughs> Warlord, uh, the original. Okay, now I'm talking about four. Even it came out, and very much was fresh and new because before all the new updates and things like that. Warlord was one of the few things which really sold fourth edition for me. See, the the, mm. the thing that sold fourth edition, the thing I still think fourth edition did really well was taking healer, the healing out of like the cleric's hands. Right. And it sort of that it, too. Yeah. Yeah. It 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 made. That's what I really liked about it was that. 
mm-hmm. I could actually envision a group of people of a group of fighters, a group of hand to hand warriors being in mm-hmm. a party together and working. Right. Because you you could have basically control healer striker with like a rogue type person. You you could have all of those basic archetypes covered and be fighters. You could have yeah. all those basic architectures covered and all be magic users, all be arcane. Like yeah. I, I no, really I, like that about fourth edition. That, that's I what it, I sort of also miss. Liked, I also liked the idea of you have this specialized character who was really not that grand himself, but who makes other people better. Yeah. And yeah. pulls his sort of I like the idea of that. And it wasn't a bard. Which... Yeah, the one one thing fourth edition got right for me also was in 3.5 if I when I read the lore and I read the folklore everyone wanted to be gods yes like Orcus wanted to be a god like like that was sort of the be all end all once you're a god you're at you're the top shit yeah. so the arch fey right. the highest arch fey were gods and I really liked that part of the fourth edition lore is that no no no, no wait a minute gods are just one branch of super powerful yeah. beings yeah. the arch fey are their That's own branch cool. The archfair, they own the demigods, the, and throw down with gods. Yeah, need to be. the demon lords, like the top demon lords, they might not be gods, but they're still as strong as a god. Yeah. Like I, that's that's the other piece that of fourth edition that I really sold, and that's why I'm going to continue using that idea into into the further editions. I think it's a, I, uh, I, I like that from a story that one also, yeah. yeah, that's true. Uh, uh, I just kind of like the idea of like uh, joining. Uh, I, I think it was like uh, back in the old for, uh, in Nerdbound. I was like, hmm, like if I would have created a character like just for uh, you know, the, let's say Apocalypse. Just I like. I was like, huh? Why not create a warlord that actually you know like tried to take take over mm-hmm. a part of land? Warlord who right. is a warlord. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like for Christ's sake, he's called a warlord. Why not? Guys, hold on one second. Um, yeah. Stop this. Stop this recording. Thanks for listening. Um, I think we're going to continue this conversation. I'm going to release this as a separate episode. So. All right.